if people are sort of on the edge of shall I apply, shall I not apply, is this the place for me, then please just please just take a chance and apply. Um, I was so, so close to not applying um, because things like I was the first person from my family to go to uni, first one from my school to go to Oxford, I dealt with confidence and anxiety issues. But even after I got accepted, I was still thinking sort of, is this the place for me, is it not? I, I didn't really know, you know, whether to go or not. But then somebody inside me just said, you know, just just go for it. Like, you, you just have to go for it. And it's probably the best decision I've ever made. Uh, advice to someone applying for medicine. The Oxford Medicine course is three years preclinical and then three years clinical. So I would recommend it if you're like me and you wanted to go into the clinical course uh, equipped with the whole foundation knowledge that you need and the science. Because I thought that was quite comforting. Um, so just make sure it's the right course for you and the right style. Um, don't let the essays deter you because I hadn't written an essay since English GCSE, but it's actually not as bad as it sounds. Focus on each thing one at a time. So because of your grades, make sure you've got your UK cat and your BMAT. Um, making sure you've, you're preparing for an interview. And as long as you just take it step by step, you'll get to somewhere you'd want to be in the end. For engineering at Oxford, I would definitely advise that you do as many past papers as you can find of the physics aptitude test. Um, and also the British Physics Olympiad questions are also really good to practice just to get you into the mindset of the challenging questions that will come up. Um, and I Want to Study Engineering is another good website with lots of questions that are really helpful um, in your um, preparation for the application process. And that will be really helpful at interview as well. Just have a really solid understanding of basic math and physics concepts, whether that's in further math or not, um, that can be really, really useful. And because if you have that, then first year kind of gets a little bit easier um, because a lot of the things that we do are a build up from that. I think the most important piece of advice for somebody who does want to apply to Oxford is number one, do it, apply. The number of people I know who haven't applied who really should have applied, there's a lot of them. Uh, and then the second thing I would say is, uh, the second piece of advice would be in your personal statement don't write what you think i might be interested in or what you think another tutor might be interested in we want to see what you're interested in it's your personal statement if you are interested in spaceships if you are interested in microelectronics if you're interested in 5g networks whatever it may be write about it i want to see the passion come through in your personal statement my advice for applying for chemistry would be to look on the university website at the course, check the requirements and also have a good look at the core content that's covered in the course and make sure that they're topics you're interested in. If you find that they are, then I think practicing talking aloud about topics you're currently covering in your chemistry classes is super useful. Knowing how to describe stuff to a friend or family member will come in really handy but I did receive some really good advice from the tutors before I went into the interview, which basically was just to speak aloud and not worry too much about getting the answer right. It's more about your thought processes and taking them through that. I think the most important thing for me in a good student is somebody who's really interested in the material, somebody who really gets excited by engineering, no matter what type of engineering it is, just gets really excited by it and who's able to sort of think um, Whenever a new problem is posed to them, they're able to think in, in such a way that they use what they already know, you know? So they, they use what they have available to them to, to build up the problem from the first layer upwards. And I think that makes a really good student, um, but most importantly, it's interest.